Hey guys, and welcome to the last episode of our Armored Only playthrough. And with that said, let's get straight into it. Also, bright morning, but to start it all off, let's go man control that goddamn minigun I've always been wanting to use. It's time for a bit of minigun fun. And once again, bright light warning. And here we go. Yeah. Using the minigun with the scope and night vision isn't the best idea, as it'll probably block you due to its extremely fast fire rate and the muzzle flash. If only the AI needs to use the minigun like this. Be so broken, but it would be so cool. Well, that's one zone they cleared. Time to send in the tanks. One mistake I definitely made was throwing these things in head first. Well, at the same time, at least the front armor is facing the enemy, and not the side. That would've been worse. Well, there's an armored crewman stuck underneath there now. How fun. Plus, the track's broken, so we can't even rescue that guy. Not anything. Soon, at least. But at least that zone one cleared. I think. Oh no, there's still two infantry walking in. Well, they're all dead anyway. Time to get this track patched up so then we can rescue the infantry below. Oh. These poor machine gunners up top never get a good time. They never get a break. Here I completely forgot to set the medic to fire mode to, uh, to hold fire, so I'm hoping he didn't actually shoot anyone. Although, according to his kill counter, he didn't hit anyone, so... I guess it's fine, but still. Well, at least I catch on to it. But he still doesn't have any kills, so... Yeah. And that's a lot of enemies headed our way. Well, we finally got the tank of that crewman, so we can catch him up as well.
Well, time to push these tanks up. Oh, right, never mind. There's a BTR there. Let's get the next squad rolling up. Three Abrams and two Bradleys. Should be in a should be able to capture at least one of the positions. Bradleys are so helpful early game, but as soon as tanks come in, I don't really see a point in fielding them. Unless you have tons and tons of infantry. But at the same time, it's just gonna get shot dead by a tank. So I'd rather have my infantry on like not part of a convoy. Well, hopefully this advance doesn't go too horribly. We have to send another advance down here anyway. Glad I don't have any strikers left. Because those damn strikers will just get machine gun stuff. And then we would be one vehicle down. Don't get me wrong, the miniguns would also go down, but I tend to keep them out of the firing line as they're basically just support vehicles oh fun they're stuck man i really wish this pathfinding was a bit better but oh well Oh damn, the gunner and the charger are mad. They should be firing a lot, man. It's kind of sad that 90% of the veteran crews get absolutely nuked anyway, for my stupidity. Because seriously, those guys would help a lot. Because... You know, you know how good a medic veteran ten is of us. Well, I'm gonna hopefully hold this position without too many casualties. That is. We definitely need. To oh. What just hit us? And why? And this is why I hate the pathfinding. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Well, that is dude, two tanks down. About to be three. But holy cow, that guy is poking up a lot of damage. Oh god damn it, this is veteran too as well. Well no, they're only vet four. But still, god damn it. And then one single one got back. Well time to tactically nuke these guys then. We don't have that many reserves left. Oh great, there's two right here. At least the tank crewmen can do something here. God, we're losing the tanks to the left, right, and center. Well, kind of bring up the reserves. So we gotta gain a position here first. 
Ah, uh, yes. The rifle friendly firing the... Okay. You just gotta hold a position right now. Oh, BTR, fun. God, really, the tank's fast. Gosh damn it. I thought that tank knocked it out already. Oh, there goes Bradley. This is perfectly fine. Oh, one of them says the RPG I gave him. Well. Kind of bring up the last reserve. And just full send it. This is probably a horrible idea in hindsight. Also, time to put some tanks in the fence. Hopefully this single tank can hold off thousands of well hundreds of troops. Oh my god, I swear to god there is a hundred people there. And they just keep counting up. Well hopefully the tank can keep up with it. I'm in I'm gonna send the second reserve in. God, I hope this ends well. Um. Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? Well, time for some manual control. Well, here goes nothing. I'm surprised we haven't been hit by an RPG yet. Oh, speaking of, well, at least this Abrams here to clean up. Oh god, I'm hoping no one got there. I'm 90% sure someone shot there. Oh god. Well, technically, I can say this again. They're technically true as they're in the vehicle and they got knocked out which means I could use the crew yeah I'm really twisting the rules there man wonder how the tank firing line is doing there are a lot of vehicles heading towards us And also a lot of our medics down, because you know I'm very smart and throwing them right in front of the enemy. I mean, besides losing their top gunners, they're not doing that bad. Although I would prefer if the medic would catch up troops faster, but I guess that's. Just Consequence of not being able to level them up. No, there's still an infantry in that corner. Yeah, we'll deal with them later. He's not much of a threat right now. Oh no. God damn it, did you just lose an entire crew? We may have. God damn it. Well, that's a thousand four hundred supply gone down the drain. Well, at least I got a bunch of medics in reserve now. For the next time we have you guys go down. 
God damn it. So expensive to get tanked. And just losing one like that is just annoying. Which is why I, I added the medic rule, because I can't just lose the tank and it's all, all its crewmen, because they're just bleeding out on the ground, unable to do anything about it. And there's the last guy. Let's hunt him down. Also send a medic reserve, just in case. Huh. Firing line, anyone? Apparently, I didn't need those things at all. What was the last position? So now it's just a waiting game. And praying that our tank firing line over there can hold up. And not collapse. And leave us all scrambling to try to hold them off. Well, time to patch up this last guy, and that should be about it. Although, having an MATV getting nuked by an RPG because I just had to rush them all in, isn't really good anyways. Although, only one third of an Abrams cost. Is it one third? No, a slight bit over one third. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Now we just await the final capture. And hopefully the Go, don't go down. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, that's not good. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. That was slightly scary. And now, on to the next one. And right into... Yeah. Here's hoping we don't lose the tank off the bat. It is the last mission after all. Well, since that's pretty much one zone there, let's get the second squad in. Pick that middle point, and then we only have two more. Huh. This is going okay so far. But, who knows? It could go horribly sideways. Well, time to sell the second point. Although I think I forgot to yeah, I forgot to cap the first one. Oh well, you can do that later. Nice whiff. That's more like it. Okay, now it's a party. Oh. Wow, those RPGs are barely missing. God dang it, there goes one of the crewmen. Oh, 
Well, they're dead now. Trying to finally cap this point. Time to actually clear the damn point. I play so goddamn slow sometimes, and other times I just watch it way too fast. Speaking of being way too fast, there goes my gunner. Well, that's a lot of cat trophies. For them, at least. What are you feeling this is a bad idea? Oh great! Abram, sick him. And that two dead rock. Well, since that zone's practically clear, time to move on to the next one. Next point, I mean, not next part. Oh. Rip to those lads. Got absolutely destroyed by a tank shell. God damn it. I broke the tracks on this Abrams again. This was seriously the only problem I had throughout this conquest. Dang tracks breaking and then losing all the crew tankmen. I mean all the crew for one of the tanks. And then having to fully replace it. Well, the points directly had time to use this lag. Or AK, just give him some tank shells. And 50 cal and machine gun bullets. And charge them straight on, because why not? Well, time to get the folks in the Humvee to cap these rest of the points that I have apparently forgotten to do. I keep pulling them Humvees to the MATVs. God dang it.
Well, there's only one point left. And I see a lot of stuff on the minimap. We're talking like multiple tanks, probably. At the same time, I don't think their tanks are stronger than the Abrams. Are they though? I mean, in the GRM campaign, we got our ass, but I guess in this case, we have plenty of airstrikes to use. Time to clear this last goddamn point and knock out the tank at the same time. Because, you know, air superiority after all. I wonder what the A-10 is actually using. Huh. It's not using its main gun. It's using a bomb, but I wonder what... What type of bomb. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? That RPG missed my goddamn... It missed my Abram and proceeded to slam into an ATV. Killing everyone inside. Well, wounding everyone inside. But let's face it, they really should be dead. Oh, and there's an RPG. The amount of RPGs these guys have is honestly frightening. Like, where did this supply come from? Oh. What was that? Oh god, it's a BTR. Where's that a B- Is that a BTR? Seems like it. Time to patch up these lads and then move them to the next point. This is gonna be a slow one, isn't it? At least with the second medic patched up, we can double it. I guess we could have the rest of the guys in here to cap it. Well. Up to two tanks to guard this one god dang MHP. Or one tank apparently. And there's still two. Only got tracked, luckily. Well, oh, they can just sit in the sit in their vehicle as they cap it. That would have been nice to know earlier. Oh well. Oh. Oh god damn it! They got the engine block. Miss. Let's hope this doesn't. Did we just? We totally just freaking knocked out the gunner. Can I seriously stop missing for like one second? Oh great, there's a second tank. Well, that's another one down. Luckily, the tanks didn't go for the goddamn company, MATV. Or else that could have gone horribly. Just 
hear the god dang Abrams rounding off in the distance. Now you got two Abrams rounding off. I mean, they're doing good damage, and they're keeping everyone out, so I can't really complain. Now it's just a waiting game. Yay. Well, since we have some time before we get this point captured, next series will be the GRM campaign. Because I finally decided to buy the Ultimate Edition of this game. Here's hoping I don't regret that prestige. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Yeah, by the time I'm done editing this, I've already played for two missions. Yeah, I lost half my footage for the second mission. So, with that said, see you guys next time.